the Big Mars NRL preview. Look good, stay protected with a great range of workwear from Blackwoods. For workwear that's comfortable, hard wearing and safe, see blackwoods.com.au. G'day, Big Man here for Blackwoods, previewing round three of the NRL. Now the Seagulls take Bulldogs on on Friday night and this should be a cracking game. Both sides have played the Parramatta Reels in the opening two rounds of this competition. The Seagulls were comprehen comprehensively smashed and the Bulldogs on the other hand beat Parramatta quite easily but I think the scoreline didn't really reflect how tight that game was. I'm going to go the Bulldogs here. The strength of the Bulldogs is their pack and I think the weakness of the Seagulls is their pack. Putting two and two together for mine, that indicates the Bulldogs will come away with some points from Brookvale Oval. The other Friday night game, and what a cracking game this should be, the Broncos up against the Cowboys at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane. Now the Broncos were okay last week against the Sharks. The Cowboys, I thought, were quite average, to be really honest with you. But I think the seriousness of the situation for the Cowboys is the problem here. Uh, well, maybe not the problem for them, might be the, the, the one thing that can turn their season around a little bit. They really need a win here, the Cowboys. I think they'll get it. I think they'll beat the Broncos on Friday night. Now, there's three games on Saturday. The Warriors up against the Eels. Now, this is at home, Mount Smart Stadium for the Warriors. They were OK, I thought, against Canberra last week. And the Eels, I thought, were OK in losing against the Bulldogs but they've got a horrific injury toll to the Eels. I've got to tip the Warriors in this game. The next game we'll see at 5.30 is the Raiders up against the Dragons in Canberra. Now the Raiders okay last week even though they lost to the Warriors and the Dragons I think have been dreadful in both games I've seen from them so far. The Dragons record against the Warriors, uh, the Raiders I should say, is terrible. Even though they did beat them last year for the first time in about I think, 15 occasions, I've got to tip the Raiders in this game. The next game, the Storm v the Sharks. Now the Sharks have been awful this year. Two games, two times they've been smashed. Terrible. The Storm on the other hand, I think have been okay without being outstanding. They, they lost last week uh, to the Manly side in the first round. They just got the money against the Dragons, who I thought were quite average. I'm going to tip an upset here. I think the Sharks will improve. I think they need to win this game, and I think the Sharks can win at very big odds. Now, we come to Sunday, and there's some great games here. Two games on Sunday. Rabbitohs up against the West Tigers. Now, both sides have been pretty impressive. In fact, both undefeated. But the Rabbitohs, to me, look like they've gone to another level after winning last year. They look absolutely sensational. The Tigers have been good, though. I've got to give them some credit. I thought they were very good against the Dragons last last Monday night and Tedesco at fullback he, he does add a bit to them you've got to remember here this time last year the Tigers did defeat the Rabbitohs in a massive upset it's very hard to tip against the Rabbitohs in their current form I'll tip the Rabbitohs but they're going to have a bit of a letdown at some stage whether it's this week or not I don't know the 6.30 game on Sunday night is the Titans up against the Knights now the Titans have lost two out of two and the Knights have won two out of two quite remarkably both of them upsets from the Knights I'm going to tip an upset here as well. I think the Titans can win. I know they got smashed last week against Penrith. Uh, they, look, they had a couple of tries disallowed in the first half that I think were vital to their chances. I think the Titans can create an upset here. I just can't see the Knights winning three in a row. We finished the round on a Monday night with, with well, two fantastic for sides this year anyway. The Roosters, even though they were beaten last week against the Bunnies, there were times where they looked to have the game in the bag, but somehow they let it slip away uh, with the, the South Sydney Bunnies getting away. I think they scored the last three tries of the game to win the game. The Panthers, on the other hand, not all that impressive in the first half last week against the Titans, but just annihilated them in the second half. This will be a great game of football. It's at Allianz Stadium. I'm going to tip the Roosters. In saying that, I really don't know which way to go here. It's a 50-50 bet. Look, after a good solid start for me, round one, I think I could tip six winners. Last week, four winners. Let's hope I don't tip two less this weekend. Have a great week. Good punting. Thanks to Blackwoods once again. The Big Mars NRL Preview. Look good, stay protected with a great range of workwear from Blackwoods. For workwear that's comfortable, hard-wearing and safe, see blackwoods.com.au.